Today we're taking a look at the things you can do if you've been contacted by Thomas Higgins debt collectors or Thomas Higgins solicitors about a debt. We're getting all of this information straight from my article on moneynerd.co.uk which I'll also link in the description. Just to be clear, I don't give financial advice, I'm just making sure that you have access to the information that you need so you can make an informed decision. Now you've probably received a letter from Thomas Higgins, they're known for sending out letters before actions. Um, and when I had debt collectors chasing me back in 2010, it caused me a lot of stress and anxiety. So I can empathize with you and I know how you feel. But since then I've worked in the credit card industry for over 10 years and I'm happy to say I've been able to use the information that's contained in this video to become debt free. So today I'd like to answer five frequently asked questions like are Thomas Higgins even legitimate? How to reduce your repayment amounts? How to stop Thomas Higgins from contacting you any further? What happens if you ignore them and what they're not allowed to do when they're collecting your debt? So question number one is, are Thomas Higgins solicitors legitimate? Well, if you've received a letter in the post, this is probably your first question. If you don't recognize the company name, Thomas Higgins, it might be that they've purchased your debt or they're a debt collector collecting on behalf of another company. I can confirm that Thomas Higgins is a UK registered company. And whilst there are a bunch of scams out there when it comes to debt collectors, I'm afraid this is unlikely to be a scam. However, you should never pay unless you're certain that the debt is yours. You're well within your rights to ask Thomas Higgins to provide proof that the debt is yours. And I have a free letter template that you can use to confirm that the debt is yours and to confirm exactly how much you owe. It's totally free and I'll link that in the description. Okay, question number two, what happens if you ignore Thomas Higgins debt collectors? Well, if you ignore debt collectors, your problem could escalate and become very serious. Thomas Higgins does have the right to take court action against you. And if you were to ignore court letters, then you could end up with a county court judgment, which could have a major impact on your credit score and your chances of borrowing money in the future. If you do get a CCJ and you still don't pay, this could ultimately result in bailiffs or enforcement agents coming to your home to take your valuable items or even your car. There's a big difference between having a debt collector like Thomas Higgins contact you and having bailiffs come to your home. So I can't urge you enough, now's the time to take action on your debts while there's still options available to you. So please, please don't ignore Thomas Higgins and we'll get to what you should do later in this video. Question number three is, what are the rules that Thomas Higgins need to follow? Well, despite being legally appointed to collect your debt or outright owning your debt, there's several things that Thomas Higgins can't do when it comes to collecting debts. Knowing what Thomas Higgins can and can't do will make you feel a lot more comfortable and confident when dealing with them. So here's the things they're legally not allowed to do. They're not allowed to visit your place of work unless you give them specific permission to do so. Before this rule was in place, some debt collectors would show up while you're working and try and make things awkward for you as a way of sort of pressuring you into paying. And on a similar note, they're not allowed to speak to neighbors, friends, or family about your debt. Again, this is to stop them trying to embarrass you or shame you into paying your debt. Thomas Higgins can't contact you or visit your home at unreasonable times of the day. For phone calls, most people would agree that calls before 8 a.m. are too early and calls after 9 p.m. are too late. But your circumstances might be different, for example, if you work night shifts. If you can't take calls during certain times, then tell them. They should keep a record of this and avoid calling you during these times. And by the way, for home visits, the regulations say that debt collectors need to clearly explain the purpose and the intended outcome of the proposed visit, and they need to give you adequate notice of the date and the likely time of the visit. You're well within your rights to complain if they keep calling you or visiting your home at times you've told them to avoid. Next, it's also good to know that they're not allowed to act in a threatening or intimidating way. Also, they should never pressurise you into paying larger instalments than you can afford or hitting payment deadlines that are impossible. The regulations also say that they're not allowed to pressure you into signing your home or to take out more credit to pay your debt. Also, it's good to know debt collectors can't pretend to be bailiffs or enforcement agents. Unlike bailiffs, debt collectors can't force their way into your house and they can't refuse to leave if you ask them to. And they're certainly not allowed to take any of your possessions or clamp your car. Question number four, how long can you be chased for debt? Well, under the Limitation Act of 1980, a creditor has up to six years to chase most unsecured unpaid debts or 12 years for some mortgage debts. This limitation period starts from the time of your last payment or when you last acknowledge the debt. Ultimately, debt collectors can't enforce their debts through the courts after six years, but if you've already been taken to court and have a CCJ registered against you, then unfortunately there's no end date for how long you can be chased. Question number five, how do I pay less and come to an agreement with Thomas Higgins? 
Well, there's a number of ways you might be able to reduce the amount you repay. If Thomas Higgins are adding interest and charges to your debt, then you could ask them to freeze them to help you get back on track and clear your debts quicker. Debt collectors are more likely to stop or reduce interest or charges if you can prove that you're in financial difficulties. You could put together a budget showing your income and essential living costs so you can clearly demonstrate that you're in financial difficulties. You can also use that same budget to negotiate reduced payments. Again, you, for this you'll need to show why you can't afford higher repayments, so make sure you're clearly showing your income and essential living costs so you can clearly demonstrate what you can and can't afford. Sometimes debt collectors will only agree to reduce payments for a short period of time and, other, and at the end of this period they'll want a review of your situation. Other times they'll agree to much longer repayment periods, but all of this will totally depend on the nature of your debt and your individual circumstances. If you have the cash, you could make a full and final settlement offer. This is where you ask them if they'll accept a lump sum payment instead of the full balance that remains on your debt. In return for that lump sum payment, some debt collectors will agree to write off the remainder of the debt. These are not the only options that are available in the UK when it comes to clearing debt. There's actually a bunch more. There's some debt solutions that uh, are paid, there's some that are free. Each of them have their own pros and cons. If you want to learn more about debt solutions that I've mentioned in this video, or some of the debt solutions that I haven't mentioned in this video, you can check out my website, which I'll link in the description.